pretty basic wrecking ball at this point, but we're just gonna try this out. And here, and it, yes, perfect. Hey guys, Sethan in here, back for a little more Terra Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. I just want to say thank you guys to all your continued support on all the Terra Tech videos. We had a lot of great new subscribers. We had uh, Mikey Whittle and Alice Chong joining our channel, so welcome to the channel. We also had some great comments from uh, Nia Mondi. I'm not sure how to say that, but he said he gave a pretty good joke. He said, if it isn't broke, then break it. In Terra Tech, that is true. Thanks so much. And Ked. Deraji, I really need to learn how to say these names. Kaderaji gave me some great tips on flying, so make sure to go back and read those if you're having trouble flying as well. And then Edgeman, of course, gave some uh, great comment. Buzz Place and R2D2 uh, BB8. He gave me the correct answer, the theme song to the One Punch anime series. So thanks for posting that. That's great. So Carl James Nyson, he pointed out that I said his name wrong, incorrectly, the first time. So I hope I'm saying it right now. Nyson, it wasn't Nyson, it's Nyson. So I hope I'm saying that right. Thanks for correcting me on how to pronounce your name. He came up with a suggestion. He said, why don't you make a wrecking ball? There's some new experimental stuff that came out recently. And it's all about these kind of moving joints and things like this. We've got some bearing uh some small bearings and some large bearings type of thing and these are kind of like a little donut hole so you put one piece down and then you've got to add a axle here and so this is supposed to go in between in between the two joints here so basically what I, i'm gonna uh let's see yeah so it's supposed to line up like that but in the middle and there's a trick to it. Did some reading. There. This is the way that one's supposed to go. And then I'll oh, we'll just put up. They have a lot of these new bumpers too. In the Geocorp, which is pretty awesome. So you want this guy to attach right in the center there. This bearing in between the axle. And it doesn't seem to want to go. And. Uh, oh, they have to be, uh, they have to be separate, uh, yeah, so they have to be separate texts. This is the part that gets a little confusing. So now when you, now when you separate those two, there you go, look at that, perfect, yeah. So you have to separate your text into two separate, but they have to be lined up perfectly. And now if you remove a block in between two, um, mount points, it's not going to fall. So they've corrected this and made it two separate te texts now. So I'm just working on trying to make like a little pendulum here. I just want, basically what's going to happen is we'll put some big block or drill at the one end here and it should swing through the middle and hopefully destroy something. Okay, so I'm just going to save it here. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Got a pendulum. I want to see what happens when you save. Oh, it doesn't save the whole thing. It just saves... The middle piece looks like okay, so it's not quite super great, but saving is definitely an issue. Maybe I'll fix that. This is only experimental, but let's let's pile on the back here. Basically, I want to put on this side the drill. This is what Nyson had said. He mentioned if you put a drill or something or an engine or something, just so that you could make a big uh, like a wrecking ball type of thing. So I'm going to try to do that here. Just need to find, oh yeah, let's do, I don't know, which kind of drills, I guess this guy does the most damage, I think. Let's just stick him on the end here. There we go. It's not too pretty right now. This is just the prototype. This is just the working theory here. I'll throw a jet engine on the back just to give it some speed. Just like that. Excellent. Perfect. Okay, I've got a Star Destroyer lined up here. For destruction, I removed this part and he um, stuck into this post. Okay, that did not work. Oh, he's still stuck. Oh, the post in front. There he is. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, okay, first test successful. That worked perfectly. That was exactly as I planned it. Yeah, not enough room to get through the two posts there. Hmm. Okay. 
Well, um... Oh, there it got through. Yes, it worked. <laughs> uh, okay. Take two, maybe? <laughs> okay, excellent. Here we go. So I've got the space structure set up here. And let's see... I'm gonna try the large one. Maybe this will help out a bit more. Well, this one's... Where is it going? There. It's actually pretty big, actually. This is the medium-sized one. So maybe they will have a large one later. But that's pretty big, actually. Medium's pretty big. So I'm just gonna put on another bumper here. Slap that on. There we go. I think that's pretty decent. So I think this strategy works okay. If I just stack up a post in the middle. Like so. Yeah, well, one more fit. I think so. Looks like it's okay. Then I want to put the... Uh, oh yeah, this is not... The bearing here is not gonna... Oh, you have to take this off. Here. Yeah, so basically it's got to be two separate units before the bearing and axle fit together. Not gonna work. Oh, what? oh, it worked for a second. There we go. Yeah, perfect. Okay, excellent. So that gives us the sort of pendulum type of thing. And then I just build out something this way again. So the idea is just going to be like a kind of a wrecking ball. With a one way direction wrecking ball. <laughs> one thing I want to be sure is that I don't make it too. the wrecking ball too out, out too far, it'll just hit the ground. So I should have really measured. I should have stopped and measured actually everything. Oh, I wonder. This is a uh, what I could do. I'm wondering if this would be uh, like a brace. If I could just put this across, if that would stop thing from moving. So then I could just yank out the center, and it would those actually stop the stop the wrecking ball from flying down there. Okay, I gotta put a cab on the front. You really need to put a cab on, otherwise it just falls apart. Once you take it away from the... from the support to the bottom. Let's see, okay. I think that's okay. Should I put a cab on here too? I guess. Maybe... I'm trying to think if I should... Trying to save these things is going to be the biggest issue. So I'm just going to try to take a snapshot of the outermost uh, part of the cannon or wrecking ball thing. We'll try that. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Now we'll just do. Uh, let's see. Okay. We'll just try a test here. So we're just going to try. Oh, it does work. Hey, it works. Oh, that's awesome. So I can put like a little bit of a brace there and then I can continue to build on it. Alright, so this is what I got so far. A couple engines, a couple of these drills. So pretty basic wrecking ball at this point, but we're just going to try this out and here. And it, yes! Perfect! Excellent! Yeah, uh, that's, uh, hmm, it's great. Came right off that thing. <laughs> okay, back to the drive. Okay, and this is test number, I don't know, where are we at? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten or something? I don't know. <laughs> so put a cab on the front. I feel actually face the right way. Please just turn over, right up, upside, right, fit, is it up, up. Good enough, whatever. <laughs> His wheels are pointing down, that's a big thing. Okay, so now we've got our basic cannon. Take down this middle bar. So I've got to remove that. I think he's going to clear it this time. I'm just going to remove this post here. Might as well get this stuff out of the way. We don't want to have another incident. Like 003 or whatever it was. Ah, oh, it's working good. Excellent. Okay. Here we go. We're going to prepare. Test them on the right. Okay. 
Here we go. Yeah, we got this working. I'm on the right cab. We're gonna yank this way and press space. Oh, we press. Oh, it actually. Oh, did it spring back? I accidentally hit spacebar first before yanking that post round. Seem to work okay. Let's try it. Here we go. Oh, there's no juice left in the engines. No. <laughs> How could they be out of juice? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just sitting there. <laughs> no, there's nothing left of the jet engines. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm just going to build a sort of weight on the other end. It's hopefully enough to bring it the other one back up. Oh, it actually might be kind of like an axe or something on this. Well, it actually, oh, no. It just pushed it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we've got, trying this other one. This is the ball and socket. This is sort of like, I think, I think you have to go from directly opposite of it. Yeah, that works. Okay, couldn't get it from going up, but I could go to the next side. So this is more, I think, like a cannonball would be, or a wrecking ball would be, because then you could just, oh yeah, right. Okay, here we go. I've got the cannonball set up this time. I forgot to leave a part that would actually have a cab on it and another way to build anything on it. So this is pretty decent. This one's just a bunch of jet engines and a bunch of drills. So this time, nothing can go wrong. Oh, it hit the end of that thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh. Oh, no, it... Because <laughs> I had two cabs on there. So it selected the one on the ground, not the one on the actual wrecking ball. <laughs> okay, can I? I can't even select it. There we go. Okay, here we go. Flawless destruction. Or no destruction. Oh, I forgot to turn him into an enemy. <laughs> Just disaster. <laughs> <gasps> All right, so after one disaster after another, I was going to try to... I wanted to put the ball part facing upward instead of directly across. I thought that would be better. Try that out. So I thought if I could start it with facing up, then I get the biggest swing, but it doesn't look like you can. No, it doesn't. Not. It's not gonna fit that way. All right, here we are. I just rebuilt it facing the opposite direction. This time it should work. Yeah, fits perfectly that way. So looks like you can only go one direction with these guys. Okay, here we are. Attempt number forty-seven. Okay, I've got the right unit selected. We've got the engines going, or the trail's going, and we're ready for launch. I'm gonna convert this guy to an enemy that I keep forgetting to do, and then switch this over, and then booster rockets, and then uh, boost, and, and just is it destroy. <laughs> it's the wrong one to destroy. Why won't you blow up? Just blow up. It doesn't. <laughs> Why can't you just. You know what? When all else fails, just take out. Take out the. Is there any Can I even put him in anywhere? I can't put him anywhere? Uh, this. Boundless empty space. Oh, there we go. Here we are. One punch. Well, I'll show them how it's done. And missed the very first shot. Okay, <laughs> this is it. I want to see this thing explode for crying out loud. <laughs> and in post, uh, there it goes. Oh, explosion. In post, we'll make it look like the wrecking ball did this. <laughs> look at this. Come on, destroy already. What takes it? Oh, finally. Oh my gosh. This guy did not want to blow up. <laughs> Well, that was a bit of a disaster today, I think, yeah. Sorry it didn't quite work out, but that's all the time I have for today. Thanks guys for coming to hang out with me. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you again next time for some more Terra Tech. Take care, have a good day, bye bye.
Mm-hmm.